And the next event is the men's 50 breaststroke. And guess what? Grayson Bell's in this one. He is. Um, if he wanted a warm up, he's certainly had it. Um, and because they are 50 metres, uh, what you can do, we're used to doing repeats on this kind of cycle. So there's a few minutes between each race. It would be the similar kind of thing that you do in training. I'm not saying it's not difficult, um, but he'll be ready to go. Um, everything is firing um, to give him that shot. But he has, he has a few minutes to just reset himself um, and prepare for the next race. It's kind of an unusual combination, breaststroke and freestyle. And really, it's only a couple of minutes between the two events. So he wouldn't have had an opportunity to hop in the water and cool down and reduce any of the lactic acid that way. He, he'd probably be shaking out his legs. He might have a couple of seconds to have a quick, hot, cold shower. Sitting down, what do you reckon, Thorpey? Well, I, I, I'd actually be happy with the lactic acid because one of the things that happens is your body starts to clear it naturally anyway. You can speed up the process and this becomes something that you have trained for. You have done so many repeats where you feel this way that it almost feels familiar, even though you feel uncomfortable. There's no, there's no swim down, that doesn't happen. Um, it is walking back knowing, because you have to check into marshalling area, and then what can you do in marshalling area? So I don't even think you have the luxury of putting your body into a little bit of shock which is going from a warm shower into an ice cold bath. Um, I think it's getting to the marshalling area, shaking out your legs, then, you know, just re-prepping your mind for the next one. A mental game more than anything at this point. Absolutely. So Grayson Bell will start in lane seven, two races in a row on this program for the 25 year old. And Sam Williamson, 24 years of age, trains at the Melbourne Vic Centre. He's going to be right alongside, so he's in lane four, Sam, and right alongside the world record holder in Adam Peaty, who has never won this event. He's been beaten at the last couple by Cameron Vandenberg. And of course, to see him lose earlier in this program was a massive, massive surprise in the 100 breaststroke final. It was, and I think it's because of, you know, the, the legend, the aura that surrounds Adam Peaty and deservingly so. Um, he has been injured. He hasn't had all that much time to prepare for this event um, or any of his events at these Commonwealth Games. He's only had weeks when it should have been, you know, months or even years to be able to get to this level. So Petey at the moment is wounded. Um, I would favour him in the shorter event as to the 100 metres uh, where he was beaten and missed out on even receiving a medal but we're going to find out very, very soon. It was James Wilby who actually took that uh, title away from him from England. Um, he's out in lane two, so there's a possibility that he does it again. But it is uh, the Australian, who, uh, Sam Williamson, who will be in lane four. So fastest qualifier through the semi-finals. We'll be watching out for him. And then Adam Peters next to him. And then outside in lane seven, of course, Grayson Bell who has just swum uh, the 50 metres before it, and hopefully his recovery's gone well. Ross Murdoch was third in the 200 metres, um, and has swum well at this meet. This might be a little bit short for him. It'll be interesting to see how Sam Williamson handles the pressure of a centre lane. Here comes Grayson Bell, moments after we've seen him. But there is pressure that comes with being the fastest qualifier and in the centre lane. He doesn't have a huge amount of international race experience on a major team. James Wilby in lane two, the Englishman, that huge upset win in the 100 breaststroke over Adam Peaty. Craig Benson of Scotland in lane six, and Michael Hooley of South Africa will be introduced in lane three. South Africa with the best record in this event. It was first held only back in 2002. They've won it three times, England twice. And this is the only able-bodied event that Australia has never won a Commonwealth Games gold medal in. And here is Adam Peaty. What will his response be tonight? Sensationally out of the medals in the 100 breaststroke. And Sam Williamson looks so relaxed, looking up into the stand, seeing the Australian team. He looks happy to be there, and so he should be. He was very calm and very collected after his semi-final performance, and it, it did look like there was a confidence that he could go even quicker. He's a legitimate challenger here. It, 
In many ways, it's about how well this man swims. That's right. And in a 50, there's no room for error. Petey is the world record holder. His personal best time is significantly faster than anyone else in the field. We know he's had a broken foot. Um, he also will try and be as intimidating as possible before this race. Um, and it's something that Grayson Bell's done a great job of blocking him out. He's smiling, walking out, and he is not going to look at, 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 at Petey being able to be dominant, but it is the Australian that we're watching for in lane four, yellow cap next to Adam Petey. So Williamson in four, Grayson Bell in lane seven, and Adam Petey, the world record holder, lane five. The way we go, he was a little bit start off, a slow off the block. Sam Williamson, Michael Hooley in lane three. The South African got the best of the starts. Bell not too bad, but he's quickly right in this, Williamson. So Williamson in second position at the moment. Adam Peaty, world record holder. A shock defeat in the 100. He's in front. Williamson's right there. Can he get there on the touch? Don't think so. Peaty gets it. This time, the 50 metres title is his. Silver for Sam Williamson, a superb swim. And Ross Murdoch in lane eight is going to collect the bronze. Adam Peaty with that celebration there. Redemption. It, it, it has been for him after that, what was really a shock. This was the race that he was most likely uh, to be able to swim and swim as well as what he has. But brilliant for Sam Williamson, a personal best time, 26.97. I thought he was going to get him there in the end. He really lengthened his stroke, didn't he, as he came down the final bit. The contrast between Adam Peaty and Sam Williamson at the start. Adam Peaty, massive intensity. Sam Williamson smiling. For our New South Wales, Victorian and Queensland viewers, come with us now to Seven Mate to watch Nina Kennedy jump for gold in the pole vault at the Athletics, plus watch Ariane Titmus swim in the 800 metres in the pool as well. Otherwise, you can stand by for sunrise. Super exciting stuff, plenty happening around Birmingham 2022, the Commonwealth Games this morning, including Nina Kennedy. She has an amazing opportunity to jump for gold in the pole vault. We'll get to that shortly, but for now, back to the pool with your commentators, Ian Thorpe, Annie Williams and Basil Zephyrus. So what a brilliant finish it was. The final of the men's 50 breaststroke and Adam Peaty at home, he wanted to win one of them, didn't he? He missed the 100, James Wilby, his compatriot beat him. And look what it means to win at home. Pretty incredible. We know he's had a difficult time. He withdrew from the World Championships because of injury. But Sam Williamson, that was an amazing race. A personal best time. It, it's actually not easy to swim a personal best time in the final when you're in lane four and there's so much pressure. But he put it together excellently.